Hey guys, today we are going to do all the Mavic drones. The Mavic. Yeah. <clears throat> the Mavic structure ones I have. So, here's the thing. Here's one thing I want to shout out on Amazon, which is completely hilarious. Look, it's a Mini 3 Pro. Oh, look, it's a rip-off Mini 3 Pro. $388. Okay, if it's a rip-off and it's good, so who cares? <gasps> what in the world? Look at the camera. It's such a normal camera, and it has brushless motors. It has brush motors, not brushless. It has brush ones. What in the world is this? The camera's not even good. It's like 4K. It says 4K. It's not 4K. It's probably 180p. Look at the dang camera. Bruh. Look at those motors. If you can tell, this, like this, is a brush motor. And this have those grills. So that is a brush motor. Um, That's the thing. So if you actually have a real Mavic, you should actually see some something like this, brushless motors. Now this is brush geared ones. And also, check out this one. The big Mavic one, clone. It's not the best, but it's very good as a clone. But if it's alone, it's okay. But see, the brushless motors. This right here, just put a circle, make you think it's brushless. Right here, it's brushed. It's brushed. It's brushed. Like it's brushed. Okay. I'm so pissed off with this thing. Oh, look. Infrared obstacle avoidance. Not even the Mavic Mini. Basically, the same price has that. And plus, it has brushed motors. Like, what the f Anyways. Has LED lights. Okay. Who's that? Dual camera, long endurance, HD lens, 360. Trash, trash. Don't get this on Amazon. If you ever see this, trust me, it's a bad ripoff. It's terrible. Like, what the heck is this? Let me go down and see if there's any reviews here. It appears not. So there is no reviews. So if you are going to buy this, do not buy this. This is a ripoff. It's $388. Can get this thing. I mean, you still got to spend them 100 more dollars. But that's as close as it gets. This is basically the same price. The original packet. But I did buy the Fly More Combo. Which is $100 more. So it's the normal price of this. I mean, I did buy the two battery version of this. So... <clears throat> Anyways, what the heck is this? Look, brush motors doesn't even say brushless. Like, literally. The heck? Okay, so... Okay, so it's extremely embarrassing. There's really no point of that. So, now, first, just the smallest Mavic structure I got. Um, this is a real Mavic. Even has the DJI logo there. Um, so it comes with this remote. Which is pretty cool. And there's the charging hub. One battery's inside the drone. You flip it over. Take off this. You can actually see it has a full on three axis gimbal. Axis one, axis two, axis three. So that is the drone. Now for the controller. Hold up. Just peel out the bottom. Open up the real antennas. Yes, these antennas are real. So, yeah, remember that. Yes, I know you are. So, that's my robot right there. You guys probably saw him a long time ago. Uh, you just got to take the sticks out the bottom. So, in case you lose a few, there's extras, too. And right here, that's the controller. That's where your phone usually goes, right there. And this is a smart charging hub. You can see what's inside the batteries, how much charge there is. Same with this. like press it you can see how much battery there is which is full so which is a good thing to turn this on you press and then hold same with that you press and hold literally a lot of things are look a lot of drones are like mavics now even even the mavic 3 clone is like 40 bucks not 388 to that piece of junk don't buy that plus i didn't even buy it I can tell it's trash so if you press and hold here let me do it on the side so i don't damage the gimbal Press and hold.
See, the gimbal calibrates itself. And then this, the infrared sensor will start going. Uh-oh, gimbal's freaking out for a moment. Okay, now it's at normal. It's going to look for the controller. Just like that. Just press until it waits. It's waiting for the controller right now. Okay, there. It says it has enough GPS. What you do, so it does rev up. So you push down and now it's going to rev. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go, we got the old Mavic, which is a pretty good drone. Go ahead and turn it off. Even though it's like really outdated from 2019 or something. It's extremely outdated, but it's okay. Okay, next we have this drone about for Costco at 50 bucks. Literally. Okay, so these do not have antennas. However, you could connect it to the phone. What you do is you see this, flip the drone over. It's also foldable with joints, so Make sure you line it up. Look inside where the pins are. No, the pins are up there. You gotta fit it up there. Easier way is to just look at the slope. And then you put the slope in the right way. That's how you tell you got a good one. Now you let it initialize right there. Now you take this up, down to calibrate the throttle. Now you just down and out. Now this one does not have any rev. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this. No smart battery, no nothing. I mean, 50 bucks, it's okay. Okay, moving on. Now we have this. Um, this is pretty new. It's a big Mavic, it has LED lights at the bottom. There's optical flow, or you can use it as the second camera. Doesn't matter. It's also foldable with brushless motors. Just gotta take out the gimbal cover. Try not to snap it. Just like very gently. Oh, not to you. Okay. Now, looking at the gimbal, you can see that there's that. Oh, but the thing is with the second axis is it uses a brushed motor. Literally. If they use brushless on two joints, why do they have to use brush on one joint? That's just dumb. Whatever. You have this. This right here, you gotta clip it in right. Otherwise, it's not gonna do well. So, this one does rev too. Like the Mavic Mini, it revs. But it only revs once. The Mavic Mini goes vroom vroom. But this just goes vroom. Like normally. Let's move this over a bit. Now make sure the battery level... This, the pins, right there, always are at the bottom. Now, as soon as you put it in, you got to put this in like that, and then put it into the drone like that. Stuff it in. Okay, now you have your drone ready to go. Um, Same with this. you got to press and hold. So, press and hold, and then it will come to life. Okay, at this point, it's looking for your controller because it's doing that. You gotta turn on your controller. It does a few beeps. That means it's calibrated and ready to go. Just move your drone over a bit. So, at this point, the gimbal is not gonna move. That is until you unlock the drone. Uh, okay, so the gimbal should actually activate when you're flying. It's not gonna activate when you're right here, so... You can start it, but this, it's not going to activate until you fly, like you're in the air. But if you unlock it, it's still not going to go. This drone is pretty big and scary. Also press on hold to turn it off. <laughs> This, you just press that, and you're done. 
So yeah, that's the thing. Uh, again, don't get that rip off. If I get it, I would just, you know, keep it. Doesn't matter if it's like three hundred dollars. Who would buy that? Three hundred dollars for a piece of junk. Why don't you get the Mavic Mini original or just something like this? Or if you want to play around, you can just get this. Well, why would you spend three hundred and eighty-eight dollars for this? That's even worse than this, actually. Because the camera doesn't... It's just stuck there. This, you can actually move. And this has more LEDs. And uh, it's bigger lifespan. <sighs> yeah. I don't get why it's selling that. Oh, yeah. By the way, these are not real antennas. I like the Mavic Mini. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.